Hey everybody, this is Aaron from AaronsAudioCorner.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a standard battery to check the polarity of terminals on a speaker when its terminals are not marked. Let's say that you've gotten a speaker from a friend. When you go to wire it up in the car, you realize that the terminals aren't marked positive or negative. That presents a problem because when a speaker isn't wired up properly, then they're out of phase and out of phase creates a bad sound for a number of reasons. Now with modern DSP, you can easily fix that on the fly, but if you're building like a home speaker or you've got a passive network set up, then you want to make sure that you've got everything wired up correctly. And in general, even with the modern DSP and active setup, you still want to make sure that you've got the speakers wired up the correct way. Before you go to install the speaker, you need to make sure which terminal is positive and which one is negative. If they're properly marked, then you don't really have to worry about it. But there are cases that I've run into personally where a speaker was improperly marked. So it's always a good idea just to double check it. And with a simple battery, it's well worth the five seconds of your time that it's going to take. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's say that I've got a speaker right now, like this Honda OEM speaker, and you can see the terminals right here are not properly marked. Now, how do I know which one is positive and which one is negative? Well, I just use a battery. And to demonstrate this, I'm actually going to use a different speaker. The reason why is because it's kind of hard to see with this one which speaker or which way the, the speaker's cone is moving because it's hidden by this big old basket trim. So we're just going to look at this speaker right here. Now, this speaker does come with the terminals identified, but we're going to pretend like it doesn't. And we're going to say, I just chose one and plug my red wire into it, which the red wire feeds into a yellow alligator clip on the other end. And then my black wire is connected to this black alligator clip. And I'm going to use these alligator clips just to connect them to the battery. Now you want to connect whatever end you think is positive to the positive terminal on the battery and whatever end you think is negative to the negative terminal on the battery. That way, if your assumption plays out, the speaker should move outward if it's in the proper polarity. And if it's in the wrong polarity, then it'll move inward. So let's go forward. I'm going to connect my yellow cable, which I believe is my my positive terminal on the speaker and I'm going to connect my black alligator clip to the negative terminal of the battery and you can see that the speaker moves out that means I've got it set up correctly on the other hand what if I have my wires flip-flopped so I'm going to connect my negative cable to the positive terminal and then I'm going to take my positive cable and connect it to the negative terminal of the battery and you can see it moving in Okay, so now I know that it's wired up incorrectly. So I'd go back to the previous wiring that I had that I found was correct. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. It's, it's a very good common trick. Many, many people use it. If you don't know about it, now you do. It's something you can easily do. You got these batteries at home. As far as what battery to use, again, I use AA. It's because they're more common. Uh, AAA would work fine. And these are one and a half volt batteries, so they're not going to damage your speaker at all. So no concerns there whatsoever. Just connect those up to whatever terminals you think are positive and negative. See which direction the uh, the speaker moves. And if it moves outward, then you know that you've got it correctly wired up. If it moves inward, then you know that it's incorrectly wired up and you just need to flip the wires around. But that's it. Hope you guys learned something and I'm out. Peace.